Kia my name's Scott Towers. I'm a musician from Fat Freddy's Drop. I'm also a very passionate DIYer. I live here in uh, Havelock North in Hawke's Bay. Come and have a look around my house. My wife Fiona, my son Salvador and I moved seven years ago down from Auckland. Uh, we were looking for a bit of change of a pace in our lives. We found this house, it's built in 1921. It's an old stucco farmhouse. Great bones and lots of space but uh, needed a bit of work to sort of modernise it and make it us, really. When we moved in, the house was pretty much full of wallpaper and each room was a really different colour. It was really not us at all. So I knew that almost every room would need to be attacked at some stage and we've nearly knocked them all off. We'll strip a room, get it ready to go and try and live with it for a little while and kind of imagine what it might be like if it was a darker room or a lighter room and then narrow it down to a few that Fiona predominantly chooses, paint them on card, pin them up on the wall, and then go from there. We've always used resin colours. I think it's the range of colour available and also the, the help I get in the store is really important for me. So this is our lounge. It's been quite a bit of time here, especially in winter, the fire going. I'm a collector of records, so I like listening to music in here. This was one of the first rooms we actually did when we first moved into the house. So we stripped the floors and repainted and actually made a mess of the first colour choice. And that was one of the key things that I think I've learnt uh, in the DIY game is uh, don't be afraid to ask for help. <laughs> a friend of ours who was uh, doing interior design, she came around and had a look and went, oh no, 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 that's a cold grey, you need a warm grey. We ended up um, choosing Rosine inside back. The whole mood of the room changed and uh, she was right. So my dad passed along a lot of skills to me um, when I was a teenager, begrudgingly, you know, on Saturday afternoons, standing there holding bits of wood for him or hammering the odd thing in, but really just sort of soaking up the process and how to do it and also understanding that you could do it yourself if you just took the time. So behind me is a, uh, an old utility shed. When we first moved in, it was unlined, um, falling down, rotten windows, and my wife Fiona was uh, in the process of setting up her own business and she needed a workspace, so we converted it into an office. I think we've chosen richer, more vibrant colours because our house is of its age, you know, it's an old, old house. So the colour here is Rosine Atomic. Uh, we'd actually used it to paint the TV room in the house and Fiona really liked that colour. It was sort of dark and rich and calming and uh, this needed to be a place that she could just come away and get stuck into her work and feel relaxed. It's quite difficult to get it out of your office actually. One of the first projects I did when we moved here was this pizza oven in Perea. Every year we give it a bit of a touch up, uh, repair any cracks and then um, give it another lick of paint with uh, some resin luster krill. The thing about pizza ovens is they're going to crack no matter what you do. So uh, the paint you use has to be resilient but it also has to be something that you're prepared to just put on there every single year without fail. Things like DIY can be, can be really powerful tools, you know, keeping you mentally agile. There's a lot of thinking and planning that goes into any project, really. So the lockdowns of uh, 2020, 2021, um, they were a bit of a quiet time for us musicians. There's not a lot of work around. And of course, we couldn't travel, which is what we do a lot, is play overseas. So having some DIY projects um, ready to go was actually really important for me, uh, sort of kept me, kept me sane. So this is my next project, uh, it's the hallway, the entrance hallway. I've stripped all the wallpaper out of here. Uh, the next job is to do a little bit of filling and then give it a uh, seal with uh, Resine Shore Seal pigment sealer. And that just means that when we do do the skimming and, and give it a really good finish, uh, it means that none of the old glue or stain or paint will come through. So we've looked at a couple of colours already. We've used uh, Resine White Pointer before in another room, so we know it'll do the job. And there's another one called Rice Cake, which I quite like. For me, the doing it yourself is, it's a double-edged sword. Like, I actually don't love painting, but I love the results. 
and it's definitely worth it if you know if you're prepared to put the time in and it does take time you can't rush through it being able to sit down and look back at a room and think oh I did that you know that's a really satisfying thing and well worth it I reckon Thank you.